people, welcome back. I'm Angela Risk and I'm super happy you're here. Um, we are going to try and make some sort of ribbon mesh wreath today. Okay, so I've done this one time before and it was kind of like dicey and I did not like how it turned out. And so actually I ripped all of this stuff off and this is where, this is what's left behind. So I have another one that I can work on. But I want to try, this one is a little bit bigger. And so you can get these in all different sizes. And so I have um, this sort of like burlap and this, I thought it was really pretty, white with, um, oh, it won't focus on it. White with gold. Focus. There, I guess that's how it's gonna be. There. So I'm gonna just sort of, kind of work on it and just update you a little bit as I go through and we'll see how it turns out. I'm super excited. Um, I've seen these wreaths and they are gorgeous and I really want one in my home. Um, and instead of paying like $90, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna try to make it. Try, let's do this. Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different, um, but it's working out really well. So I really wanted to use this kind of mesh raffia stuff um, and kind of have like a farm, um, you know, kind of look for the wreath. And I tried like the bow thing and then I thought, what if I just shove it in there? And I think it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm gonna um, just kind of show you. So I cut the ribbon in half Half of it's on me, half of it's here. And I'm really just going through and weaving it through um, through each, each spot, just kind of randomly, and just getting some really pretty knots and twists. And this stuff, so if you see, like it slides over a lot, so you can really fit in a lot. So it doesn't have to look, um, you know, it's gonna look super full. So it's not gonna look empty. And, I am seriously loving this look. So it's a lot of like knot tying and twisting, um, but I think this is gonna be like the easiest method with this stuff. And so I'm just trying to like crisscross it and make sure it's just kind of random um, things. So that's where we're gonna go. I'm gonna keep working on it and we'll check in in a second. Yay! Okay guys, so here it is in action on the front door. I only have a green hanger, but that'll work. So this says, hello, it was just a wooden thing. I painted it white. And then I just added a few little succulents just for a little pop. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm pretty excited about that. So that was pretty easy, pretty fun. Um, it took a while. Let's see. There, that's better. So it took a while. The hair went up. Um, I got like stuff all over, but that'll come out in the wash. And it's super cute. So I'm really happy how that turned out for my first one. Um, I'm going to make some more. If you have a night, so I hot glued this. This is hot glued on there. But then I thought, you know, I feel like the ropes would be okay just to kind of give it a little more security. And um, and then I hot glued them on the back as well. Uh, the ropes just to keep everything in place. But it's super cute. Yay. 